Hey you guys, I am making masala spinach rotis today but actually I'm not making it because I have got this roti matic which is going to do all the hard work for me and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use it. First off, we're going to prepare our dough mix um, and for that I have got three cups of whole wheat flour or chapati flour and to this I'm going to add a few spices. So I've got one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, you can reduce it if you don't want it that spicy and one teaspoon of amchur powder or mango powder. I've got two heaped tablespoon of spinach powder going in which is going to give it all the flavor and the goodness and the last thing going in is two tablespoon of onion powder and that is going to make this chapati really really good with a wooden spoon or any spoon just give it a good mix so that all the spices and the flavors have distributed evenly this dough mix now goes into our flour container we'll then fill it to the max that's the perfect quantity to fill up the flour box the lid goes on and just slot it in and here I have 50 ml of sunflower oil I'm using sunflower oil you can use another oil which is going to go into its slot as well next goes in 250 ml of water so I've chosen level 2 for thickness and level 2 for roast and I'm going to make six chapatis today just the press of a button and it's going to start making rotis And just like that, my chapatis are ready. But that's not it. I'm going to show you how to make it even more delicious. I'm going to start with a hot pan and add a tablespoon and a half of sunflower oil. To this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and one teaspoon of mustard seeds. Half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garam masala. Just quick mix. Now add five boiled potatoes which I have chopped roughly and to top it we'll add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and just add two tablespoons of uh, hot water so that it's easier to mix it all well. Now you can turn the heat back up and just get it all nicely mixed. I'll let it cook for a minute and then it's ready. So I've got one red onion um, and I've thinly sliced it. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of chilli powder and just a squeeze of lime. Quick mix. That's a salad -y onions ready. I've got all my elements ready. I've got my warm masala spinach chapatis and I'm going to put some coriander and mint chutney. You can find the recipe on the channel. Just click on the link above and I've just got some jeera or cumin alu which I've just made place a bit of that so good and a few of these onions just a bit of um, leafy coriander and that is ready oh my god that is packed full of flavor. The chapati has got its own flavor. Coriander chutney is giving it a beautiful cake. The potatoes are simple yet delicious and then this onion is doing the rest. So you've seen how easy it is to make these chapatis so quick and healthy and delicious and you can use it for all sorts of things and I'll leave all the links in the description box but do try this uh, spinach masala chapati with the fantastic filling so good for lunch boxes, dinners, lunches, whatever you want you can have all the elements ready in the fridge come home, just press the button, get your chapatis ready and you have this ready in minutes so please do give this a go, give us a thumbs up check out the website and I will see you next week with a brand new recipe